Living a simpler life means stepping away from what you think society expects of you and making time in your own life to do the things that you love and make you feel incredible. <laughs> morning my extremely great champions hope you're all feeling massive amounts of love appreciation and festivities because today marks 13 days until Christmas if you don't know who we are I'm Ryan this is my vlog you guys probably recognize me the most as the lead actor from the treehouse scene as Magdalene's wife in the fish animation movie Finding Dorothy and this is Kenzo my son the greatest champion in the world and Lolita my wife the best thing that's ever happened to me. We're here in Thailand, living our dream, making videos every single day. And all we want to do is help make you a happier, better, more successful version of yourself. So hit that subscribe and let's take it to the next level so you don't miss out on our daily videos. Before jumping into my personal tips on how to lead a simpler life in 2018, I just want to fill you guys in on my own personal story so that you know where I'm coming from. I used to feel extremely lost in life, almost as though I'd taken an incorrect path I used to feel that there has to be more, than, more to life than working all day every single day, spending time with friends that aren't even real friends. And no matter how much money I made or new things I bought, I never felt that satisfied, happy, complete feeling, that secure feeling. You know what feeling I'm talking about, like pretty much how we used to feel as kids. Then I received the most magical impulse to move to Thailand. And although it was then that I stopped feeling the pressures of suburban living, I still did not lose that lost feeling. In fact, it was at that stage that I was feeling more lost than ever before as I sank deeper into the island lifestyle of waking up every single day at 1 p.m. and going out every single night. Just after two years of being here, I met someone extremely special that came into my life and it was from there that I went very deep into meditation, the Buddha way, the teachings of Abraham Hicks and the law of attraction. <sighs> Fast forward another two years and I don't even recognize the person that I used to be. I can honestly say that now, every single day, I am so happy all the time. I am certain in myself and in my life, and not only does every single day go exactly according to plan, but it is also bursting with love. And this can be the case in your own life too, and you need not even change very many different things about your current lifestyle. All you gotta do are these five things that have changed my life so much and made it much, much simpler. Number one is wake up at 5 a.m. every single day regardless of whether it's holiday or weekend or if you're working. There's just something so special and so significant about waking up before anyone else in the city gets up. I wake up at 5 a.m. every single morning to reflect on where I've been, where I'm going, but most importantly, just to reiterate who I, who I am, my, my code, my morals. Number two is stop watching the news. In fact, Stop watching TV altogether, like there's absolutely no need for you to know what is going on in the world. I promise you, it makes no difference to you. Even if you are a, a spot forward oil trader, the news, that kind of news makes zero difference in anyone's life except that based on the fact that where focus goes, energy flows and what you focus on you attract more of. The only thing that happens when you watch the news is you attract more of a similar kind of vibration into your own life. Number three is write everything down. This is probably, this should have actually been number one. A lot of the times you forget what a champion you really are. A lot of the times when you're going through something a little bit difficult, you forget how you bought this for th that girlfriend and how you looked after this person when they had no money and how you operated that particular business deal and you made it come out even better than ever expected and how you were such an amazing mom to your, your daughter on that particular sports day or whatever the case may be, it's very easy. I mean, a lot of us can't even remember what we did this morning, let alone yesterday. So it's essential that you actually write things down, particularly the things that you are proud of and look at them every single day so that you don't forget what a phenomenal leader you actually are. Because I know that when times get a bit rocky, it's so easy just to focus on that particular minute, that particular hour, that particular day, and how difficult things are at that time. You forget all the amazing things that you have done and excelled in and been successful at, you know, one month or one year or three years ago. So write everything down. Number four is really only something that I started doing 
after I met Lalita. And to be honest with you, this has, it has changed my life. There's no other way to put it. Number four is meditate every single morning. Meditation is a time that you set aside to quiet your mind, to actually stop all thought and um, get in touch with your inner being, get in touch with who you really are. Um, in the beginning, I was doing it wrong. You know, I thought meditation was time to lie down and, 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 and think about what you want in your life. And while that is really good, you know, where, where, where the mind goes, the body does follow and thoughts do become things, one trillion percent. Yet, the reason why we're going to be meditating every mind is actually the opposite of that. We are meditating every day to calm our mind and actually provide an opportunity for something, an energy source that's greater than ourselves to be presented with a moment in time to give us, you know, hints or suggestions or impulses or medit um, messages. Uh, number five is understand the 80-20 rule. I've got a beautiful and brilliant and amazing friend who stays back in the country that I come from and this particular individual is always extremely flustered and, and never relaxed and going crazy because she's always extremely busy. She's got this to sort out and that to sort out. The 80-20 rule states that 80% of your final outcome only comes from 20% of what you engage in. What I suggest is to streamline what you do during the day. Have a look at the 20% of the things in your life that bring you 80% of the results and the, the, the remaining 80% that is not contributing to the final outcome of your exact goals. Don't, don't only pay less attention to them but completely write them off. My champions, that is it for today. But before we end off, I just want to tell you something extremely funny. So as you know, or as anyone knows that is a regular subscriber and follower of our vlogs, I'm all about being more. I'm all about being like massive when it comes to everything. So when I see people, I don't just say, hi, how are you? I always say, are you feeling great? Are you feeling amazing? So I just walked past a person now, someone that's obviously on holiday, and I said, are you feeling great? And you know what he said to me? No, I'm Chinese. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of this. If you guys haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe so you don't miss out on daily videos. All of our content is geared to adding value to your life in some other way. Some days we're doing videos about happiness. Other days we're doing videos about gym, diet, Bitcoin, whatever it is, it's in some way gonna add value to you. So smash that subscribe. See you guys tomorrow.